Millions of dollars were approved to put a suicide deterrent on the Coronado Bay Bridge, but where is it and where did the money go? Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. I'm Marcella Lee. CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes takes a look into the story for us. She joins us live now with details. Kirsten, when can we expect to see that barrier installed? Yeah, installation of that barrier won't even start until 2027, so you won't see construction for a few years here at the Coronado Bridge. I'm here at Cesar Chavez Park where you get a gorgeous view of the bridge behind me, but you know suicides at this, at this bridge have been an issue for decades, and people have been asking for help to address the issue for years. But critics of the idea say the view from the bridge and of the bridge would be impacted. They don't like that, and others wonder, will the deterrent even work? If people want to do what they want to do, they're going to do it one way or another. So I don't think that's going to be the deterrent. Jason Stewart says he appreciates the efforts to stop suicides at the Coronado Bridge. You can't put a price on a life, but I'm just not sure how effective it will be. They tried uh, a couple small things so far, and so far they haven't seen any reduction in attempts. Since 1969, there have been more than 400 deaths at the bridge. There was another death earlier this June, and the bridge is home to the second most bridge-related suicides in the entire country after the Golden Gate Bridge. In addition to really reducing suicides and suicide attempts, we're also looking to reduce the closures of the bridge due to those events. Charles Gray with Caltrans says in January 2023, $14 million went to designing a suicide deterrent system for the San Diego Coronado Bay Bridge and I-5 connector overcrossings, but work and a lot of it still has to be done before we will actually see that deterrent in place. The bridge itself is not uniform, so when we look at the existing structure, we have to account for all the details, the differences in each span. The suicide deterrent will begin near the beginning of the bridge and it will run east along the bridge for approximately one and a half miles. The deterrent system will be a stainless steel net, approximately eight to 10 feet tall above the existing concrete barrier. Those against the proposal spoke out at a public meeting like the Save Our Heritage Organization or SOHO who writes, this is a substantial visual impact of the view from the bridge due to the mesh netting and poles. They want an environmental impact report to be conducted, to which Caltrans says, We've done everything we can to really avoid and minimize impacts on the visual of the bridge and from the bridge. Jason says he hopes it works, but isn't sure that it will. I question the effectiveness of it, so I'm not sure if it's the, the best place to put the dollars. This is a live look right now at the Coronado Bay Bridge. A lot of the public comments at the meeting for the suicide deterrent say that the installation cannot come soon enough. Some of the comments have come from people who have witnessed deaths here at the bridge. The total project is estimated to cost $130 million. Again, construction won't start until 2027 and is slated to be finished by 2029. Now, an important note we have to make here, if you or someone else you know needs help, maybe need a little hope or a conversation with someone to help give you some guidance, all you got to do is call call 988. You can go to our website cbs8.com for links and everything you need to know about this project and for those of you who need help. Reporting live for CBS 8, I'm Kirsten Holmes. Back to you.